In this video, we're going to go over five Mac applications that we think you should check out for the month of June 2020. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. The first app on our list is going to be a game changer for those of you who are doing a lot of video calls and meetings. Now, I know a lot of you began working from home just a few months ago, but I don't think it's too late to show you this new app called Meter. And it's the perfect app for showing all of your calls in one area and also offers a one-click solution for joining those video calls. Meter lives in the menu bar and it shows you your calendar of events for the day. But what's really cool is that it works with a ton of video conferencing applications and services and it offers you the ability to one click connect to the virtual meeting room. This is a pretty useful tool if you have meetings using different services like Zoom or Google Meet and don't want to go hunting for the app or link in the notes section of your calendar invite. It's all right there, and once you click to join, you're instantly in the meeting. The app also sends notifications that allow you to join right from that notification a little bit early so that you have time to jump in and you'll never be late again. It's a definitely a great app to try out. Our next app couples perfectly with Meter, and it's pretty simple. Mic Drop allows users to mute their microphone at a system level in order to make sure nothing awkward or embarrassing happens the next time you join in on a meeting and you can't seem to find that mute button right away. Simply head to your menu bar, click on the microphone icon, and select mute. There's a little status window that tells you whether or not you're on or off air, and you can kind of drag that around anywhere on your screen and keep that up so that you really know whether or not your mic is actually muted. And you can also use this window to mute or unmute, or you can use the Shift Command M keyboard command, and that will also mute or unmute your mic too. It's a great tool to have for peace of mind when you're doing all of your video calls and meetings throughout the day. Weather Mini is our next app, and it's a fantastic weather app that stays clean, minimal, and out of the way. Weather Mini lives up to its name, offers users a mini weather box with only the essential information at hand. It's powered by Apple's Dark Sky API, which is great for those who love Dark Sky like myself. I love the clean look, and it gives you information for the upcoming 12 hours or five days ahead, and you can see things like precipitation amount, UV index, and more. Just right click the dock for a few more options like the ability to switch between Fahrenheit or Celsius, background refresh time, and more. If you need a good weather app for your Mac, check out Weather Mini. Paletro or Paletro, not quite sure exactly how it's pronounced, but it is our next app and it's a great little service that helps users navigate certain apps via keyboard commands. So when you're inside of a compatible app, simply press Shift Command P and a spotlight style search box pops up. And here you'll have a list of options or commands that you can use to access certain parts of the application. You can search for a shortcut specifically or just scroll through the list of options available. And it's a great way of learning new keyboard commands for specific apps or just accessing certain services all from your keyboard without having to navigate with your mouse throughout various menus. It's not a total spotlight replacement, but it's an excellent addition. Now, speaking of spotlight, the next app called Command E is another powerful spotlight-like tool that can search through a lot of different connected cloud services like Slack, Google Suite apps like Docs and Sheets, Dropbox, and more. So I can just type Command E and a spotlight style box again pops up with a list of all the services that I have connected. And now I can focus my search on just that service, or I can just start typing immediately and go through all of the specific services that I have set up with certain keywords. The best part is if you're connected to two different Google Drives or suite accounts, it will open up and switch to the correct account for you depending on what file you accessed. So no longer having to share access across different accounts or just manually switch yourself to the right one. It just opens automatically to the right account and gets you to that file. And it's a really powerful tool that can definitely change up your workflow for the better, in my opinion. No more digging across multiple websites. Just hit Command E and let the app do the work for you. And that's it. These are our five apps of the month for June 2020. Of course, I would absolutely love to know what apps you want us to check out for the next video down in the comments below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.